The following video may contain harsh language and spoilers for the movie in question. I mean, prob probably, I, I don't know. Really just depends on what you consider to be what. Today on Movie Mac Review, we will be talking about R.I.P. Rest in Pieces. Here's what happened. Crime boss named Percy has lost a bag of shit, very valuable shit he would like back, but it got lost in an old school that has rumors of death and carnage. So he brings in some lowlifes that owe him. Marco, Faye, Richie, Aaron, and F... Effie? Uh, what? Fucking A-Train. But there's a second crew led by Albert looking to steal the shit, and the caretaker named Joe has a beef with this lot being here, so he sends big man named Sonny to do some ripping and tearing. There's a great script here with lots of witty and interesting dialogue. The actors deliver it with some impressive timing and charisma. This certainly is a higher tier of acting than I have usually seen in the works from this filmmaker. I mean, the work in Blood Ritual was pretty good, but this one goes one step beyond. Marco is definitely the favorite. Guy's playing a character, and he fully embraces it. What else to say but well done. There are some twists and intricate plot details that, while twists were expected, it still got me to say, huh, imagine that. The film has a real Pulp Fiction vibe, complete with a straight-up no-holds-barred reference to the mystery suitcase from that film. The mix of crime thriller and mystery elements, with the bloody over-the-top violence that we typically see from this studio, is a welcome variety. I do believe I have seen this style before, but honestly I couldn't name where. But I do so enjoy it. This one is worth watching. Let me know what you thought of R.I.P. Rest in Pieces, and thanks for watching.